Hey guys, it's Higgy Baby. Um, if you guys are wondering why I'm talking so softly, it's because I'm in my game room and my mom is downstairs to sleep. So I'm t trying to be really quiet while I bring you this commentary. We're playing uh, Capture the Flag on. Oh my gosh, Quarry. Jeez, getting a little tired. It's only one o'clock in the morning. Um, playing with MLC Stealth and a couple of our friends. Um, I used to hate this game type until recently. Uh, I don't know, I had a burning hatred for this. But I found out recently, this night right here, that it's actually really fun. Uh, I go 31 and 9 this game, just so you know, because I'm not going to talk about the gameplay very much. I'm going to focus my attention on Call of Duty Black Ops, which I am really excited for. I just pre-ordered it today, or I guess yesterday, more, yesterday afternoon. Um... I'm really excited. I'm gonna stay up all night playing it, getting gameplay for you guys. So first thing Tuesday morning when you wake up, Wednesday you should have a video posted probably when you wake up. Um, I want to talk about right now the kill streaks, which look really awesome. Um, starting off with a three kill streak, the spy plane, similar to a UAV, I guess, just floats up in the sky that you see people on the map. I don't think it shows you the uh, direction they're facing. I think that's a Blackbird, and that's a different kill streak. But uh, UAV is very useful for team-based game types, even uh, even team deathmatch and stuff like that. Um, the RC car seems very interesting. Um, Jesus, what? You get three kills and you just pop out a remote control car out of nowhere. I'm just kind of weird. But I guess it goes around. There's a certain timer on it, a certain uh, meter that it tells you before it blows up. Um, that looks very interesting to use. Um, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but interesting. Um, the four kill streaks. Counter spy planes, which I guess are counter UAVs in Modern Warfare 2, but the plane that you get on a... Um, I guess that will come in handy, along with the SAM turret, which will shoot down spy planes and whatnot. I guess that comes in handy too. Uh, five kill streaks. Oh, I got two of them again. Uh, the care package and the napalm strike. Now I don't know which one will come more handy because care package is like a mystery box of goodness. You could have anything you want in there, but napalm strike is just a napalm strike. <laughs> decisions, decisions. <laughs> um, six kill streaks. You get sentry gun or you get a mortar. A mortar team. It's like a mortar strike in three different locations on the map. Uh, that seems useful if you know the if you have a UAV and you have a mortar strike. That seems interesting and pretty effective actually. Uh, seven kill streaks. Attack helicopter and the Valkyrie rocket. Now I'm pretty sure I'm going to unlock the Valkyrie rocket. It's only 4,000 cod points and it's a level seven kill streak. Um, that, the rocket, that seems very interesting. You get two rockets per per shot. You get a rocket per shot, but you have two rockets together. Um, and it's just like a predator missile that you fly around the map. Apparently it's really hard to control, but it has a medium blast radius, so you don't need a direct hit to actually kill the people. Um, in my videos, you'll probably see me use this most often in my videos. Uh, it's a care package. So you throw down a care package and it gets dropped to you. But it seems really interesting and the chance of you getting a multi-kill if you know where the enemies are or there's people camping or something. The chances of getting a multi-kill with that are pretty high. It seems very interesting. Um, the Blackbird, uh, it shows the enemy's position and their direction they're facing. Uh, it doesn't have a refresh rate, ref refresh rate, sorry. It just, it's, uh, always there. And it always shows people moving. It doesn't stop, refresh, show them in a different spot. It's always showing their position on the map. That's really interesting. Um, that will come in handy in uh, certain game modes, I guess. The number nine kill streak apparently is a chopper gunner. Wow. Uh, it's just like the chopper gunner, but you control a minigun on the side of an attack helicopter. Um, that's interesting. Different point of view than. Uh, Modern Warfare 2. Um, 11 kill streaks are probably the ones that are hardest to get and cost the most because they cost 6,000 COD points. 
Um, one of them is the Attack Dogs, which they're bringing back from World at War. Um, I never played this game, that game, but I've seen videos, and they can be very deadly. With apparently they kill you in one bite. So, yeah. But the most interesting one is the gunship, where you actually control the helicopter. Uh, that seems very interesting. You're actually inside the cockpit, and you control the helicopter and shoot people. That's very interesting. <clears throat> I wonder how that's going to work out in the Black Ops series. Um, I don't know how overpowered it's going to be, or how hard it's going to be, because that's a love and kill streak, so I'm not really sure how exactly uh, it's going to work out, but I'm really excited to play it. I'm really excited to get my hands on, bring you guys some gameplays, um, talk about it, my feelings of it. Um, just in the description below, just leave, or the co comments below, just leave your, uh, how excited you are to play this game, what's your favorite kill streak you're most looking forward to. Um, is it the attack dogs, the gunship, it could be the Valkyrie rockets, or it could even be the uh, spy plane. I don't know, just leave it up to you guys. What's uh, the killstreak you're most looking forward to controlling or obtaining? Um, personally, the Valkyrie rockets are one of them, and uh, I'll probably end up using the uh, attack helicopter or the Valkyrie rockets, or uh, I don't know, chopper gunner, because. I don't know how, how hard this game is going to be to get kills, but um, I think that starting off the uh, starting off the first day, everyone's going to be new to the game. Um, if you, I guess it depends on how fast you pick up the game, like how fast you get used to the maps and everything, knowing the best spots to be and whatnot, any response, um, then you'll actually be able to do good in this game. Um, the videos you're going to see me post of this game are going to be me trying really hard, because Hopefully people don't hack the uh, the system and change their ranking on the leaderboards because me and my friend would really love to know our ranking on the leaderboards. Like in Modern Warfare 2, I can't even tell you how many people modded their score or modded their kills or something to be up there on the, on the leaderboards. And we know that our scores that are posted on there are not really our scores in the world. Um, I don't know my rank right now, guys, but I'm hoping in this game, I'm hoping to be up there on the top by the first week or something, because I'm going to be trying my best to do good in this game. Um, I'm going to shun my sisters away from even contemplating playing this game or popping it, popping it in an Xbox, because it's my baby. I'm going to play it and do my best for you guys. Um... <clears throat> But me and my friend today watched a uh, hour-long video over over Black Ops and the ins and outs of Black Ops, and the game actually looks really good. Um, looks fairly balanced. Um, I saw an interesting gun. It's it's like the FAMAS in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, but it's the FAMAS mixed in with the uh, F2000. It's like a like they went into a, a room and made babies and that's what you came out with was a F2000 FAMAS. It's a FAMAS fully automatic. Um, the recoil of a FAMAS but slightly the recoil of a F2000. Um, same crosshairs as the, as the FAMAS. It's kind of, it's really weird but it looks really interesting. Um, probably you're going to see me use that gun once I unlock it because it looks awesome. And it, it, the, kill, the kill ratio on that is pretty good. It doesn't take that many bullets to kill a guy. But um, I think one of the in most interesting things in Black Ops is actually the customization in it. I think it's awesome that they're taking the time, making putting so much detail and customizing. You can customize your face paint, you can put your clan tag on your gun, change the color of your gun, have all kinds of attachments on your gun. It's just, it seems really artist friendly, I would say. So. I don't know what, what you guys think, but I think the customization in Black Ops is, it adds to the awesomeness of the game itself. <clears throat> well, I'm talking really soft. I'm sorry, you guys. All 25 of my subscribers are going to be like, what is he saying? I cannot hear him. Roar. But please don't be angry. Um, so I guess I have about 50, a minute left in this video. So I'm going to finish this up. Um. Black Ops comes out the 9th, I'll be playing it at midnight on the 8th, 8th and 9th, I guess midnight, 
uh, I'll play it, and I guess the first game I get, if it's good, good enough, or at least over six kills, I will post it on YouTube, and you guys can check it out for the first time, if you don't have the game yet. So, um, be sure if you're watching my videos for the first time, be sure you subscribe, because I'll be coming up with Black Ops videos very, very soon. Um, and if you have any suggestions for any video topics for that my how to series you can leave them in the description in the comments below be sure you like the video and uh i'm really glad glad you guys came to check out this video um looking forward to presenting you with more videos um and thanks ryan for the awesome editing he edit edits all my videos but anyways this is my video higgy baby out peace